How about we let the artist introduce herself? I'm sure she could do a much better job than I did. My name is Perfecta April. Yes. Nice. Sounds a lot better. Sounds a lot better when she says it than uh, uh, when I, I try to say it. I, I, agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Well, welcome to the Zigzag Show. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, of course. So, what is the inspiration behind your name? When I first saw it, I was like, okay, so is she perfect or what, what, what's the inspiration behind the name? Actually, that that name is a direct translation of my native name. Oh, okay. Forma. Forma means God is perfect. Oh, God is the perfecter of everything. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that gets me into like the next question. So your genre of music, would you say it's gospel or would it be more of just Afro beats? What, what do you ex what do you think? What do you classify your genre of music to be? I, I call it Afro pop. Afro pop. Yeah, feel okay. more better that way. <laughs> okay, Afro pop. Afro pop. Yeah. Okay. So we do have a couple of songs that we have of yours, but I do know that you are working on a couple of projects. But first, let's get into your latest single that you dropped. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Nyamishira is the title. Mm -hmm. It's doing well so far. Okay. Um, Nyamishira means God's blessings. And that means God's blessings in Ashanti, the Ghanaian language, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And we, we're gearing up to shoot the video. Okay. This weekend, precisely, okay. Sunday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So what is, the, what is the inspiration behind that song, particularly? Um, I mean, if you look at the meaning of that song, God's blessing, mm -hmm. I just consider myself as I have been blessed in so many ways. Okay. Um, especially my family. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the very bone behind this whole project. So right. I consider that a major blessing in my life. I mean, I have been blessed in, in every aspect, so right. I just want to thank God for that. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. <laughs> Definitely when I listen to the track, it does have some type of South African vibe to it, like a Ghanaian vibe to it. And you also, you're a Nigerian artist, but you are based here. So how did that whole mixture come together? Because it does give you different vibes. Yeah, I would say my manager. Okay. My hobby, he is Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. I am Nigerian. My producer is is, is well rounded, so mm -hmm. he actually um, brought in the South African feel. Okay. So it was just something that we all got together and, and thought, I mean, we should do this. Right. You know. Okay. I think like it came out. I think it came out right. People love it. Okay. So for years, you've been a part of the Nigerian culture dance group. In Europe, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I love culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, my whole life has been about African culture. I read theater at the University of Calabar, majored in choreography, and okay. came out here, worked with the national troupe mm -hmm. of Nigeria, okay. and came out here and, um, you know, African culture is really, it's really great, especially when you are out here, people appreciate it. Right. And then um, Peter came on board and he said, now what? I think you're a good singer, so let's, let's, let's touch into let's put other the, aspects let's put of together. your talent here. Right. So, so you would think like your background in the, from the dance troupe definitely contributes to your music, to your sound. Do you particularly try to stick to those types of like drumming beats or pop beats because it's safer for you? Not really. Um, I started singing in the church. Yeah, okay. And, uh, yeah, my, my, uh, my singing inspiration came from the church. I was in a choir. Mm -hmm. I brought out a choir all my life. Okay. Actually, from the age of five, I've been singing in the choir. Okay. So I would think from that time, I seen myself as someone who could People will tell you you can sing, and so you know. Uh, <laughs> maybe yes, maybe I like can sing. sing so. <laughs> and then I dance as a okay. child, and, and then I've always, I've always wanted to do this okay. all my life. Okay. And I'm glad I'm doing this now. Yes. It's better late than never. Better late than never. <laughs> a lot of people, no, seriously, a lot of people. They, they say something's their passion or they love something, but they say, oh, life happens. Like, I got married or I had children or I can't do what I want to do. So how do you balance, like, home life and being able to be an artist? Mine is the opposite. Mm -hmm. Shortly before I got married, I wasn't thinking I was going to do this. Okay. But my hubby, he really pulled this out. I just want to give him all the... <laughs> he is everything when it comes to perfect art. It was music, so... He is the inspiration behind it. 
he's a financial officer, he's a sponsor, <laughs> he brings all the ideas on bus. Yes. He is the same person who wakes me up when I cannot wait. He said, oh, we yes. have to do this. We, 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 appreciate, we appreciate you, hubby, because a lot of times, no, a lot of times women, they don't have that support system. So for your support system to be like, babe, this this is what we're doing, let's, let's go. And he's backing it by get you. Yes. I know you can do this. It's a, it's, it's, it's a scene to waste a talent. And he Amen. reminds me of that every day. So how come you could do every other thing when it comes to you? You don't want to do you. Right, <laughs> so, right. As I'm like, well, if you, since you say yes, then I just follow. All right, well, let's get into your latest single. You want to introduce the track before we play it? Yeah. I think you guys speak up a little bit more. Yeah, me sure. performance <laughs> yeah it's not now I, I feel like I need to see you live Definitely. because if you can just do all that you just did in studio <laughs> I can only imagine what your your sets are like. I live to do that. Yes definitely now I can definitely see the influence in your years of dance. So you do have it in your next single but before we even get to your next single Zima wanted to talk about Calabar. Yeah are you from Calabar? 
I am from Akwaibom. Akwaibom. Oh, yes. nice, nice, nice. I've been there before. I, uh, but I live in Calabar. Calabar is also my town. I love Calabar. I went to school in Calabar. Oh. I love that city. Yeah, it's a really beautiful city. Yes, I've it been is. there. I've been there for the carnival a few years back. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been I better be there this year because it's like we're rocking that. Oh, you're going to be at the carnival this year? Yeah, it's in the cooking. What? <laughs> it's, it's, in, it's in the cooking. Are. Listen, for all our listeners listening, if you've never been to the Calabar Carnival, like they have in the Caribbean, that's the biggest carnival in Africa. It's 30 days, but the last two days is the biggest event. They have all celebrities, everybody from all over the world is down there. When, and, when is it taking place? Uh, it takes, usually takes place around December 25th, 26th. Yeah. Tw around, yeah, around that time. They have a schedule in which you can go online. Just type in Calabar Carnival, and the city is a beautiful, lovely city. Great food. And uh, yeah, I think that's my favorite that. part, the food part. <laughs> <laughs> Great food, yes. And the Nigerian jollof in Calabar is different oh, from the ones that you use. Oh yes, yes. You know, the so. one that that, 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 that. is currently <laughs> up for debate by other West African countries. Yeah, man. you just need to be in Calabar to feel Calabar. I think that yeah. I think that's the move this year. Mm -hmm. Simo, you you will host me. You'll take me with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right. So your second sim single. How do you pronounce it? Top is in. Uh huh. See, you're talking about Top Isin, right? Yes, Top Isin. What is the inspiration behind that song? Oh my God! I, um, when I did Top Isin, I just wanted to, I just wanted to try to do mm -hmm. because of my my background as, right. as a Christian and one who is really really positive. I try to attach no matter how little a message to my music. Mm -hmm. If you hear Top Isin, no matter where you're from, mm -hmm. all is one love. All now one love. Yes. Yeah. It's all about love. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> Okay, let's get DJ into it. Zima, let's 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 get into it. One love. What is it? Bounce your backside. Yeah. So are, are, you, are, are you gonna teach me? Bounce. Oh, wow. Well, I have a. I yeah, have let's a move the chair. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Yes, you. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of so, energy, man. Uh, so love does not work out. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I got the only. <laughs> but damn, oh, you, are, you are a great dancer. I saw you moving it. <laughs> See, Zemo doesn't think I can dance. Ah, oh, no, you, you are surely a good dancer. <laughs> I, I used to dance, I used to dance when I was younger, but, mm. you know, I'm not active. Never, never stop dancing. There's so much to get. Dancing. Yes, you heard never that? Never stop that. You gotta never move every dancing. day, okay? So now, <laughs> you come to my class. Ten, ten twerks a day. Ten twerks a day. Yes. Away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. You like, too. I'm excited for you. You got me up dancing. I, I, right. love, I love I love the energy. I love the energy. I really she wish should, everybody she my splash, Yes. <laughs> MySplashRadio.com. Watch us live. If you're not watching, you are missing out. Wow. You sure? Yes. You definitely. People say you should have a workout class. I think it's, it's better than it's like Afro aerobics or something. Yeah. <laughs> Coin that. Coin that, right? Yeah, I, that that in. I will definitely take that class. Please do. There's a whole lot of benefits. Yes. So what what do we have working on? What are you working on? What do we have coming up? We have like three more singles. Just a lot. Three, three more singles. Yeah. Okay. We're working really hard. Okay, are you dropping an EP or a mixtape or anything anytime soon? Um, yes, we have a whole lot of plans. Mm-hmm. It's just that we just want to take it one step at a time. Okay. But I promise you, in a couple of weeks, the video of Nyamishiwa drops, and right after that, the secret drops. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's okay, a big okay, one. Okay. That's a big call up. So right, I don't want to talk about it. And then right after that, it's another one. Okay. And another one. Right. We are booked for the season. Yes, don't nice. mm-hmm. keep it, keep it moving, mm-hmm. keep it pushing. Oh, Instagram. Definitely. So, how can your fans connect with you? Oh, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, my lovely fans out there. Mm-hmm. I read all your messages. You touch my heart. I wake up every morning, especially those from Africa. It doesn't matter when you call me really late at night, mm-hmm. and because you don't know the time difference. <laughs> right. I get calls, uh, and um. um 3 a.m., 2 a.m., but I still love you. And for those... You could look me up. Mm-hmm. Um, Facebook, Perfecta April. IG, Perfecta April. Um, Twitter, at Perfecta April. Do you have anything on SoundCloud? Can we download your music on yes, iTunes? Yes, we do. We do. We do. It's a whole lot of things. That guy, Peter, he's doing a lot. Both iTunes and... Uh, yeah, so everything. iTunes, iTunes uh, everything. Uh, SoundCloud, uh... Spotify. So iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, yeah. and the fact that Apple. Amazon. So, <laughs> Amazon as well. So you heard it here first. Oh my God. The fact that in the building, this is exact show. Definitely when you get, when that surprise drops, please call us in. Let us know. We want to we, we wanna hear it first. You'll be the first to know. Yes. Yes. And if you have any live performance. So anybody that wants to see you stateside, because you're based in New York City, do you have any upcoming shows? Um, yes, we do have something um, back in BB King's June 23rd. Okay. 25th. 26th. 25th. 25th. Yeah. June 25th. I mean, uh, and Kings. a bunch of other gigs that my manager wanted to confirm. Right. Okay. But so in and outside the country. So Right. So, all that coming up. All right, so June 25th, yes. America, Africa, anybody yeah. that's going to be in NYC yeah. is going down at BB King's. Now, if you want to reach her on social media, Perfecta Echo, her music's on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. What am I leaving out? Okay. SoundCloud. <laughs> Just connect with her. Definitely, this was a fun interview. Nobody has gotten me to get up and dance and shake my backside. <laughs> so, <laughs> anytime you want to drop by, definitely come through, come through. Thank, Thank you for the interview. Well. Thank you so much for having me. And to you, all the... All I have for you is love. Love, I love you all. Keep the support coming. Thank you. Thank you.